Seth David here from the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated, and welcome to another edition of Notes from Nerd's Desktop. This time I want to talk about bookmarks. I know, it's like one of the problems you didn't know you had. That's about to be solved by someone you didn't know you needed to solve it for you. Um, it was interesting, actually. Years back, I remember, it was like one of these side things, one of these things that recently people have come to refer to as my golden nuggets, where I just mentioned in passing something that got somebody's attention, and they said, oh my God, I never thought of doing that. And what I'm talking about is how organized I am about my bookmarks. And it was, be, it was something I just, you know, like everything else I do, it's out of uh, necessity, right? They say uh, necessity is the mother of invention, and I think that's true for certain about workflows and things that we need to set up these days. My personal thing is it makes me crazy when I have to spend time looking for something. So, you know, I'd start out, I don't even know how I tracked like links to websites before I started actually using bookmarks, but then this was the next logical thing. But originally I would just have a bunch of bookmarks in a folder and then I started getting really organized about them because, you know, what would happen is if I had them all in one folder initially, it would start eventually getting difficult finding things. And then I said, well, let me organize it, right? And so I have what you see here on my screen with my Chrome browser bookmarks, right? But even this would get confusing, like reading materials uh, has evolved uh, through many iterations and where I had, I had this broken down further, right? Um, stuff I want to read for research, for work-related stuff, person-related stuff, all this, you know, because what happens is then these things grow and then eventually I need to split it off and make it into something more organized. Earlier this year, enter Airtable and their new bookmarklet, which is part of their blocks, right? So you can add the uh, bookmarklet block. And once you set this up, it allows you to take clippings from anywhere on the web, but the beauty of doing this with Airtable is that now you have the uh, a the access to the power of all of Airtable's features. Basically, what I'm saying in short is I project manage this stuff, right? And so I'll give you an example. Earlier today, the day I'm recording this, um, I know somebody had tagged me in a post in my Facebook group, the Between Wall and Main Strategy Forum. I didn't have time to give her a response right then, but I didn't want to forget. So I used the Airtable bookmarklet. And I literally clipped that exact, the permalink to that exact post on Facebook, right? And now I've actually responded, right? So you can see that. So once I responded, I actually have to change this. It should be uh, read or completed or something, right? So that's how easy Airtable is to update and fix. So I marked the date so I know it's been handled or in this case read. Because sometimes it's just an article that I've clipped that I want to make sure I read. And, you know, once I've read it, I don't necessarily want to delete it, although I could. I may just want to uh, indicate that I've read it, right? And like here on this one, this Forbes article, I made a note for myself that I shared it to the Between Wall and Main group on November 11, 2019. Where it gets even better is now I've, I've created a, a multiple... Uh, select uh, category drop down for anything that I've bookmarked. So here, I don't even remember what this is. When I first clip things, it doesn't have the category, so I go back in and enter those later. So this is a uh, th this thing I checked out called Conversion Gods. It's just had a, it has to do with writing copy and doing video sales letters. So you know now I'll categorize it and I'll say this is you know definitely business development, um, and I can browse the options. You, what you just saw me do is I typed in the search because I kind of knew what I was looking for there. But here I can kind of just browse and see, is there anything else? Marketing for sure, right? So I'll just kind of select all the things that apply. This is at EDU because it's something I want to learn more about, right? Uh, and probably content is a good thing. So this way I have, you know, I have all of them in one place actually, but then I can group them. So then Airtable being Airtable, now I can create different views. So I've basically created a view that shows me all the marketing bookmarklets. So how does this work? Let's see if I can find something else on Facebook to clip. And I'm just uh, using Facebook as the example. So uh, actually, let's go to Twitter. Okay. And obviously, this works for articles, but it works for social media. Hopefully, by now, I'm assuming everybody watching this knows this by now. If I want to, uh, you know, link, if I want to get that permalink directly to somebody's post, I'm just going to find something that looks interesting, at least remotely here. Here, Kajabi, you can click on the timestamp. So this was posted two minutes ago. I'll click on the timestamp, and that takes me right to the permalink. And over here is my little Airtable bookmarklet. So I can click on this, add it. I can write notes right here where I am, but one of the, thing, the other things I love about this is over here on attachments, I can click on that 
and it will take a, pa a screenshot of the page for me, which just helps me get the visual, and it shows up really nicely, and then it gives me this option. I can click right over to see it in Airtable. That will duplicate the tab for me. And so I've got the visual. It's still uploading. It'll probably just take a second to finish that. There it is. So it just, again, it gives me the visual so I can remember, you know, what this was in case I need to. Um, so let's go back here to the grid view. And the only thing I can't do directly through the bookmarklet is adding the categories. So that's something, you know, that obviously I come back and do myself. And again, Airtable being Airtable, I can certainly sort by category or I can filter for any anyone where the category is blank, is empty, right? And then, in fact, while I'm here, I'll show you another feature of Airtable. So I'll duplicate this view while I just did that filter because that's going to come in handy a lot. And I'll call it uncategorized, right? So now anytime I want to look and see what things have I clipped recently that I haven't categorized yet, boom, it's like creating a report in Airtable. I'll go back to the grid view and remove my filter. And now I have my uncategorized view right there anytime I need to. So I can go in and focus on this, right? Got a speeding ticket, signed up for traffic school to avoid getting points, bookmarked the traffic school website so that I uh, don't forget. So this is definitely going to be something personal, right? And then it kind of goes away. Uh, Bulletproof Bookkeeping Course Review. This is an article somebody wrote about my Bulletproof Bookkeeping Course. Um, so let's see if I even, yep, I have testimonials. I'll just categorize that like so. And then here's what I just clipped from Kajabi. And I actually just created this category today called follow-up for things that I want to make sure I follow up on, such as responding to somebody's comment on Facebook, what have you. Now all of my uncategorized are gone, so I can just go back to my grid view. Um, you can also do things like group by category. Although when you group in, in Airtable by a multi-select type option, it will group them according to things that have the exact same combination of categories. So sometimes I don't find that to be all that useful. Um, it works much better when you have a single select kind of thing. But that's where the filters come in, because then you can filter by any of the things that are, are sh you know, showing up. You know, here's one where Capital One has these new cafes. So I definitely wanted to, uh, I definitely want to check these out. So um, I don't know why this got the category of Bulletproof Bookkeeping. I'll take that out. Uh, but definitely marketing, research, and places is what I created for a category for places I want to go to. And of course, all the information's here. I just found the closest one because there are several of these, you know, uh, in the vicinity. Um, so again, just some food for thought and ideas for how you can use Airtable to do your bookmarks. That is Notes from Nerds Desktop, my friends. Stay tuned tomorrow, or depending on what day this is that you're seeing this. Um, I'm going to try and do one of these every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday.